It is uh, National Grilled Cheese Day tomorrow. Who tomorrow, knew? who knew? Yeah. And, and you're the sandwich king. This is true. So we thought you could probably lead us in learning some <laughs> tricks and tips on making the perfect grilled cheese. Well, I think you have to start with the cheese, okay. right? Oh. Okay. A lot of people just use American yes. cheese or cheddar cheese. Yeah. I think the trinity of cheeses for Ooh. grilled cheese are this. You get provolone okay. for stringiness, okay. right? Because you get a nice yeah. cheese pull. American cheese for that kind of gooiness, right. that processed meltitude we love mm -hmm. and then sharp cheddar uh -huh. for some sharpness and some funk you, okay. know? you know what so i this never thought the... of it that way that was a lot there and i love a grilled <laughs> i love a good grilled cheese right, right. A, but just plain right. jane but let's use you know, some sandwich hack I, okay. idea that you can apply to any type of grilled cheese uh, any type of sandwich all right so you got your cheese on here we'll put this you know you can actually grab this one thing we're going to do is, I like a little mustard, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a Dijon fan, so we're going to make a grilled ham and cheese here. Okay. Just to show you some more elements. A thing I say on my shows all the time, crust to crust is a must for your sandwiches. Uh -huh. Don't just kind of clop it in the middle. No. Get a nice offset spatula or spreader and go crust to crust so every bite down mm -hmm. is identical. Okay. Right? This is more detail than I've ever... Well, you're about... You're, He's the this sandwich is the sandwich king. <laughs> Please, if I stop doing this, guess what? I'm not working. Okay. Okay, so we'll do a nice trifecta here. Mm -hmm. The American, the cheddar, mm -hmm. right? Boom. I like the American in the middle. I was going to ask. <laughs> okay. It's very important. American in the middle. Because it will because it runs out more. It's bolstered by the other two cheeses, bolstered. which have a little the more body in there. Okay. 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 So if you guys want to help we'll me out that. with that. And then you put mayo on it? Yes. And now let's say you want some ham, right? Let's right. say you're making a ham turkey roast beef sandwich. Yes. Mm -hmm. People do this all the time, right? Yeah. They what is that? It That's what, what we do. What is that? You want to ribbon it. Ribbon. You want to take at least three slices and ribbon it oh, like that. Ribbon it. Nice. You're creating height. You're creating a dramatic lift to the sandwich, yes. which is not only pleasing to the eye, but pleasing to the mouth during the bite down. Okay. Now, let me ask a question. I, I noticed when you grill it, most people do butter. I've yeah. been hearing more and more... It should be mayo. You've seen this, right? Wait, yes. what? People are mayo. skeeved out by this. I get it. I get why. I'm but when you think that. about what is in mayonnaise, it's right. eggs and oil. So the right. eggs give it some body, nice color to it, and the oil makes it, so you know, you pleasantly, uh, you know, greasy, if you smear will. Smear it on the back of it and, yeah. and grill it with and the mayo? How are you going to smear this, though? Uh, all the way to the Crust corners. to crust. Is a... Uh, all right. Must. While you, um, uh, wow. you continue crust, that, crust, I'm sweeping the nation, obviously. Guys? Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.